Hi, it's Dave. So Tesla demand is surging. In this video, I'm going to dive into what's going on and the implications on Tesla's future. All right, first, let's go to electric here. Electric says sources familiar with the matter told electric that Tesla communicated to employees that production capacity for the second quarter is already sold out with almost two months left in the quarter. All right. So here we have news that it's possible Tesla sold out right their orders for q2 which is amazing because we're just a month or so into q2 right now um details are kind of sparse on exactly what this means is this just us is this global um and there's still availability it seems like um, if you order right now in the us anyways um sawyer Mor merit who i've had on this channel is aware as well says um that he can uh, confirm what electric shared and he says uh, tesla had its largest order flow ever globally in history in april and i it seems like T uh, sawyer is is has some um, information from some tesla um, uh, sources um, deliveries are starting to pile up like crazy and so I think the the gist of it is that Tesla is experiencing unprecedented demand. They talked about this in the Q1 uh, letter um, in their earnings report. All right. As a result, we just learned uh, today that Tesla has raised the prices of their Model 3 and Model Y on some of the versions, the standard range and the all-wheel drive by $500. So the Model 3 standard range plus goes up from $3,999. 990 to 39490. So everything's going up. And this is after actually Tesla raised prices just a few weeks ago as well, another 500 bucks. So Tesla is is doing super well. Let's go into kind of what's going on exactly. Um, how much is of this is because of Tesla demand? How much of this is because of just general um, economic recovery and car demand? All right, so uh, here's an article from Car and Driver. It says, according to Cox Automotive, new vehicle inventory was down 25% compared to this time last year at the start of April, and could be down as much as 40%. At the same time, nearly all automakers are reporting strong sales numbers through the first few months of 2021. So this is not just a Tesla factor. Um, all automakers are experiencing actually healthy demand, and a large part of it is just inventory is down, demand is up for new cars. Um, interesting with used cars as well, used cars values are skyrocketing as new car inventory drives up, creating robust demand from everything from well-traveled tra minivans to late model pickup trucks. Edmund says the average value for used vehicles traded during the months of March hit an all-time high, climbing to $17,080 compared to $14,160 a month ago. So used cars are in huge demand. Um, People are getting back, you know, into driving, into the economy, and they're seeing that, hey, you know, they want a, a, a good car. Um, here, the semiconductor shortage and plant shutdowns reduced new car inventory by 48% year over year in April, a situation that likely get worse before it gets better. As new cars become scarce, the price rises as well, with the record 13% of shoppers paying above sticker price in April, Edmonds reports. Wow, 13% of people are paying above, right, the sticker price for, for cars, uh, for new cars, because new cars are getting scarce. Um, this is good news um, in terms of Tesla short term because they're able to, you know, uh, charge more because there's more demand for their cars. Here is the average um, cost of a new used and trade-in vehicle. If you see the new car price actually has risen in the past three or four years, quite you know, substantially from under, I say 35, like 34,000, all the way to 40,000 new. Um, same thing goes with used. And then here we have a, a chart of the used car prices. If you look at this, this is from 2010 where um, used car prices jumped right after the recession. But here we have another big jump in used car prices just in the past you know, um, month or so. And um, it's, it's quite impressive here. So um, it's interesting that Tesla is experiencing benefit of the economy coming back and it's coming back super strong people are wanting cars they're wanting to drive tesla is at the top of the list because they make the best cars out there i think a lot of it is just can people afford it right and you know at, at times tesla car such new cars can be above uh, uh, above and beyond most people's budget but for those who can't afford it right tesla cars are just um getting amazing demand all right here's a couple other news items here taylor Ogden from Twitter says he, uh, there's a patent and he kind of shows this picture of, of a person um, going backwards, um, sitting backwards and a steering wheel in the middle. And so wanted to look at this patent here. And actually the patent was actually um, granted in January, but it was for improper seatbelt usage detection. So it wasn't really about how the passenger sits and stuff, but it's interesting that Tesla included that diagram. 
here's another um, the Warren Tesla t Twitter handle. He says that this is what he sees in the picture. And he sees that he thinks that this steering wheel actually is movable. It can go in either direction. And it kind of looks like that to me, right? Maybe the screen folds down or something. And um, there's another person who showed this YouTube video where there's actually a Mercedes Benz van that actually has this steering wheel that moves from one side to the other. And um, I thought that was kind of an interesting contraption that Tesla could use um, as a kind of interim kind of solution uh, to turn people around the other direction. And eventually they could just take out right, the whole steering wheel. Um, I think that's probably the path forward. Um, on other news, uh, Laura Kolodny reported that Tesla can't promise drivers car cars in 2021, engineer tells California DMV. Now, there's a site, Plain Sight, and they came out with um, kind of a, a letter between DMV and Tesla where you know, Tesla is saying, hey, they're not sure when they're going to be able to roll out you know, level um, four, level five driving. And um, a lot of this stuff is going in the news as this negative thing, right? That Tesla's unsure that they can't promise anything, et cetera. And I looked over, you know, the the whole kind of file on plain sight, and there's not much there. I mean, I'm not seeing anything negative um, regarding uh, Tesla's autopilot program. Um, Tesla here says, Tesla reiterated that the city streets feature is currently a society of automotive engineers level two advanced driving assistance feature. And the Tesla will continue to monitor how participants interact with this uh, feature and make improvements. Should Tesla develop features characterized as SAE level three or higher, Tesla will seek appro appropriate regulatory pr permitting from the DMV. So here what's, here's what's going on with this, is that Tesla in California um, is saying that they have level two, which is true. Um, but the reason why Tesla is not trying to push level three or level four, level five in California at this moment is because California has really stringent requirements that if you are trying to release a level three or level four um, autonomous driving solution, you have to go through all of these reporting requirements. You have to report exactly how many miles were driven and how many, you know, um, uh, interventions were reported and it's just a complicated mess. Tesla has chosen to basically say, hey, you know, California, we're not even trying to, to do level three, or level four right now because, you know, we're not going to go through all of those regulatory hoops because once we have it ready, we're going to show it and it'll be ready and, and we'll be able to get that uh, uh, reg regulatory adoption, they believe. So instead, they're, they're um, releasing basically autopilot, full self-driving with supervision. And what that means is it's a level two feature where you're having, you're having to be engaged. And this is why Tesla keeps on requiring people to be engaged, to have their eyes on the road, their hands on their steering wheel. And Tesla is happy with playing that level two until the point where it is really not necessary um, to have the hands on the wheel or to be, you know, completely looking forward. And at the time, Tesla will remove that and they'll comply with, you know, regulators at that point. And so I think the general gist of this whole th whole story in California is that it, I don't think it's a big deal that Tesla is claiming that they only have level two and they're not sure when level five is going to or level four is going to come. This is what Tesla, I think, needs to say um, because that's their strategy in California. All right, so in summary, what we're seeing here is Tesla overall, their demand is surging and they're benefiting from this economy that's getting rolling again. You've got low inventory everywhere, used car prices are going up and people are wanting cars and transportation. And it's a great sign that people are getting back to normal life. And many car companies are experiencing great demand, but Tesla is benefiting especially because they're able to you know, kind of circumvent this low chip supply by um, alt by putting a different supplier and actually coming up with their own firmware super quick. They're super adept like that. And as a result, I think Tesla will be able to sell everything they can produce this quarter and, you know, next quarter. They'll produce as many cars as possible. And not only that, you've got a huge demand catalyst coming up, which is the Biden EV tax credit and rebate, which could boost demand immensely in the U.S., especially if they're giving, you know, up to $7,500 or even $10,000 more to buy, you know, an EV. I think longer term, Tesla has a long term strategy, which is they're going to lower the prices of their vehicles over time and also come up with lower price lines of vehicles to drive up demand. So one of the big pushes is the Model Y in these new factories. It's not just the Model Y, they're, they're making the Model Y in a more efficient manner. So they're going to be able to drive down the price of the Model Y, probably even lower than the current you know, Model 3 price. And you know, probably in, in a couple of years after everything is 
ramped fully. Tesla might be able to sell the Model Y standard range. It could go up to 300 miles actually probably with the 4680 cells. They could probably sell for $35,000. This is one of the big de demand drivers, which is lowered price and actually increased battery range as well. But then you've got the $25,000 Tesla that Tesla is focusing on as their next big product line, probably in a few years. And when that comes out, that's going to have a whole nother probably order of magnitude more demand because it's a cheaper car. Then you pair that cheaper car with full self driving with autonomous, with basically your car is an autonomous robot driving for you to places you could do kick back and do other things. And it's just a crazy kind of line of events that we have going forward for Tesla, where you have demand catalyst, demand boosters, just one after another. Overall, I think Tesla is in a fantastic place right now. And this year, Tesla is just focused on heads down executing. And personally, I've never been as excited for Tesla's future as now. It just seems like Tesla's um, future is getting brighter um, as they keep on executing. All right, hope this video has been helpful. Go ahead, like it, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you haven't, all my videos can be found as a podcast just for just search for Dave Lee on investing in your, in your favorite podcast player. I'm also on Twitter. Just search for um, HeyDave7 and we'll see you on my in my next video. Thanks.